All right, we're entering the uh, last phase of the uh, printed circuit board or PCB uh, build phase for this uh, PAC-5 preamplifier. Uh, these are new line stage installations and basically it comprises of two boards, one for each channel, left and right. And it's uh, a lot of hardware in this thing. So you've got your uh, main printed circuit board here. You've got the silk side with the screen with the, uh, the printing on it. And then that's the, uh, the solder side. And then what we do normally is we take a bowl. And this is according to the instructions. We pour them into a bowl, all the components, so we don't lose any because some of them are very small and, and uh, easy to lose or drop on the floor. And uh, basically we go through the uh, instruction manual or installation manual here. And basically it starts with the uh, smallest components first. And then uh, you build up with the larger uh, components. So you start with your resistors, which are these teeny little guys here. And uh, then we work up to uh, capacitors. And I think the very last thing that goes in are your uh, op amps. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to get started. And uh, once I've got all the boards built up, I understand I'll be getting the preamp uh, sometimes this week. It's Sunday. Um, so, we're hoping to uh, get that sometime this week and then uh, we can proceed with the next part of the, uh, the kit instructions which is to replace the or take out the old uh, boards that are dated and uh, probably quite noisy, uh, adding these new built up boards and making it uh, a very capable modern preamp in an old box. So. Uh, can't wait to get to that phase, but uh, now we've got to get back to the grind here and we'll uh, start the build and time lapse again. And I'm only going to show you uh, one build because uh, there is a second uh, kit, as I mentioned, for the other channel. So uh, we're just going to show you how to do one because why show it, why show it twice? And, uh, and then uh, later on when I get the uh, preamp, I'll show you how to take out the old boards, put in the new ones, do all the proper testing and everything. So uh, uh, this is going to be a very interesting one. So without further ado, we'll get on to the build.
Well, I've uh, completed this part of the uh, line board project, line stage project. So, uh, left channel only. And I've got the other one here, which I will not put you through the uh, building stage because it's the same. And you can see that uh, the board does look like the picture and it came out very well. Again, all the uh, components are nice and tight, nothing loose, uh, fits in very nicely. And that will go into my stack of uh, four other boards that I've completed. So I've got two Phono boards completed. I've got the power supply upgrade uh, board completed. One channel of the uh, line stage installation that uh, this manual basically goes through. And basically I'm just waiting now for the, well, I'm gonna complete this offline, but uh, complete the other one. And then I am uh, expecting to have the uh, preamp shipped to me sometime this week is what the fellow told me. And uh, we'll get that all uh, started up and do all of the, uh, the checks and, and uh, make sure that uh, everything is copacetic there. So I'll uh, pick up the filming once I get the, uh, the PAT5 preamp and then I start installing these boards. And I'll go through the whole process, give a little explanation in advance and then do some more time lapse like I've just done with this uh, particular build. So thank you for watching. Uh, looking forward to the next stage of this uh, preamplifier build project. So thank you. Mm -hmm.